Uh, I see people are still coming in, but we can slowly start. So in this welcome world, uh, I would like to welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Jakub Szlachetko, and I am a director of the Solaris Synchrotron Radiation Center that's located in Krakow. And I would like to welcome two very important persons that will help me to say a welcome word. So Professor Alexander Korduk from Kyiv Academic University and also representative of National Academy of Science of Ukraine, uh, with whom we start to collaborate uh, two years ago. And I would like also uh, very warmly welcome Professor Britta Redlich, who is a chair of the League of European uh, uh, Accelerator-Based Photon Sources and also director of the Felix uh, infrastructure. Felix, which is a FELS for the infrared experiments. And uh, maybe before I will give a welcome word to, to Alexander and to Britta, I'd like just to uh, uh, say two sentences regarding the history of our meetings. And I was just looking on the calendar. So over two years ago, during the plenary meeting of the LIPS uh, consortium, we had the presentation of Alexander Korduk, who was uh, showing us the research interest of the Ukrainian society. And uh, during that time, LIPS uh, chairs expressed very strong interest to support all actions to help and to consolidate Ukrainian researchers to, to help them to conduct the science, especially using the large scale facilities. And during this meeting, uh, actually Solaris has been nominated to coordinate uh, the actions under the LIPS umbrella. And we did organize a year ago, the first workshop, uh, start to talk about the research, common, inter uh, common research interest. And actually today we have a second workshop that's actually dedicated to talk a little bit about explicitly uh, given infrastructure that can be built within uh, our collaboration, meaning within the LIPS and the uh, Ukrainian uh, researchers collaboration. Solaris in, uh, has a role and uh, we offer a playground for this collaboration. So we'll see uh, later on this in the presentations. So actually, the workshop is dedicated uh, to towards uh, nano and micro X-ray spectroscopy uh, applications. And actually, agenda is uh, as following. So uh, sorry, just had some window uh, the agenda is as following so the first i will present you a little bit the facility and uh, secondly professor luke pate will say a few words about the uh, feasibility study that he performed at solaris when uh, spending his sabbatical uh, during the summer later on we'll have a session dedicated to three beamlines that are representative of the the type of research we are talking today about, meaning about the nano and micro X-ray spectroscopy. And as a final part of our workshop, we'll see and hear the uh, scientific uh, presentations from the Ukrainian researchers that may use this type of infrastructure. So maybe before uh, the first word I would give to Alexander Korduk, just to welcome everyone. And then I will ask you, Brita, to present a little bit what the LIPS is, because it's not necessary. Everybody here knows about our great consortium. So, Sasha, maybe if you could say a few words, please. Thank you, Jakub. Uh, thank you for presentation, for starting. And I want to start for, for, from thanking uh, for, to, 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 to say uh, uh, about uh, for for your help for, uh, for to organize to organize us and uh, now is uh, uh, really uh, it it is time that uh, it is uh, much more harder from uh, from one point of view to for us to do science to organize to go to 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 uh, abroad to Europe to make experiments but it is uh, with with your help it uh, seems that it is even even more easier than before and uh, I'm very grateful to uh, LIPS people uh, and for, for this organization, for separate people and for Leonid Rivkin and for Brita and for 
others and for for for, for Solaris, and uh, Solaris people for Jakub made a lot of uh, a lot of work to help us uh, and uh, uh, thank you very much and i'm looking uh, forward for to, 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 to see uh, the progress of this uh, of this our our i would say most uh, interesting and real project about building of the beam line at uh, ukrainian polish beam line at solaris so thank you and uh, let's see what we have now excellent thank you very much sasha it's really great to see you as always <laughs>